Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. I'm Joy and I want to inspire you to get organized. And in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning my garage and I'm just focusing on this front part of the garage where there's this little ledge. And as you can see, there's a lot of sawdust from a wood project that I did um, back in the winter. And I also want to organize this space up here, or I guess I should say reorganize it. As you can see, it's kind of organized, but I got some bins from Ikea that I think will work better. They have lids, and so it will prevent dust and dirt from getting in the boxes. But let's get moving and get this garage cleaned up. I actually did a couple projects with my saw and I can link those in the description box but I did a makeover in my um, half bath where I added a wood accent wall and then my daughter and I built a garden a raised garden bed for our backyard so I can link both of those in the description box if you're interested in seeing what I did with my saw Even in the dead of night I feel the sun burn high Oh, I know When you start your move, I move with you Right turn, left turn, anytime you turn, I turn on, on yeah. Even after all this As you can see, I'm removing everything from this space and that's because I'm going to go ahead and clean it really good um, with some concrete cleaner. And as you can see, our garage is definitely not pristine. Um, this house was built in the late 70s and I don't think this garage has seen any sort of updates. Obviously, the wood trim there needs to be replaced. It just hasn't been on our to-do list. We've had other projects inside the house that we've been focused on, but eventually we'll probably replace the trim. But for now, I'm just getting it clean. And here you'll see me kind of pause and look up. I'm looking at the hooks that are in our ceiling. I'm thinking about putting our wheelbarrow up there, um, but I decide to wait for now, but eventually I do put it up there. No. 
to be a perfectionist and so I have to remind myself when I'm cleaning a space like this that it is not going to look pristine and perfect in the end so I just keep reminding myself of that and tell myself that it's gonna be better than it was before and that's good enough so this is definitely not going to look pristine and perfect in the end you can see our garage has stains on the ground and um, like i mentioned the trim needs to be replaced but um, it's better than it was before and that's good enough if you look closely you will find it there's still a light inside the gold It's hiding in the place you feel the most Sifting through the rubble Chipping at a broken wall It won't all be perfect But it can be beautiful We can make it better than it ever was So I probably clean our garage maybe like twice a year. Um, now you might, if you watch my channel, you might have heard me talk about zones in my home and how I just work my way around the house, deep cleaning and decluttering um, a different zone each week. Well, this zone definitely gets skipped because the rest of my house probably gets cleaned about every three months, but this garage probably gets cleaned more like every six months because I'll skip this zone, um, probably just because it's kind of a pain to clean um, and it's a lot of work. But let me know down in the comments, how often do you clean your garage out? Right there, I was taking that fertilizer spreader. I don't know what it's called. I was taking it over to the trash can because there was an old bird's nest in it. And here you'll see me like trading places with that and this wheelbarrow. And in the end, I realize that um, I want it the other, back the other way around. So in the next shot, you'll see it the other way around and that's why.
So after I finish cleaning this garage on another day, I work on labels for all of the bins that I had purchased for this space. And I don't really have like a transition clip, so I'm just telling you here now that the next scene you'll see is me talking about some labels that I am making for those bins. I had been thinking about purchasing a Cricut machine for a while, but I couldn't decide if I would actually use it and enjoy using it. Um, but my friend's daughter had one that she had recently gotten and they said I could borrow it to see if it's something I would enjoy. So um, I'm just using her Cricut machine for this project. Well, so far I've got one set of labels done. It was not as easy as I expected to peel off the backing. Um, so hopefully I just get better at it. I do need to put the transfer paper on and then I will be able to put them on the boxes. So this is a very tedious process, getting the letters or the backing off the letters. After doing this the first time, I was not really sure I would ever want to do this again. I thought it might be good to have a Cricut for my organizing business where I could offer to make labels for my clients, but this was definitely a tedious process and took quite a while. I'm wondering if I'll get better at it over time and learn some tricks or maybe have better tools because I was just using a pair of tweezers to help me through this process. So ultimately, not sure if I'm going to get a Cricut or not. As you might notice from the outfit change, this is yet another day. Um, sometimes I have to just spread these projects out throughout several days to just get it done when I have a little bit of free time. Um, but here I'm just going to go ahead and transfer all of the um, supplies into these new white IKEA bins.
I decided prior to putting all of the items in the new bins, I wanted to just go ahead and see um, how to set them up, see what I liked best. Um, you'll see in the end, I actually end up doing something different, but here I'm just playing with the bins before they're full and heavy. Here I'm just showing you, I'm going to be using some rubbing alcohol to clean off the surface of the bin prior to adhering the label. This will ensure that the label will stick for the long haul. I decided to just use this shelf to adhere all the labels just because it was actually a really great height um, to get a good leverage to get those labels on. Um, but I did speed up this footage 10 times because this was such a tedious process. Yet another reason why I'm trying to decide if it's really worth it to own a Cricut. Again, maybe I would get better at this, but it's very tedious and time consuming and I consider myself a relatively patient person, but I was definitely growing impatient by the end of adhering all of these labels.
Okay, so I did a little bit of rearranging, but as you could see, these labels are so tedious. I even had to do surgery on my W here because this portion like came right off and I didn't even notice. And I did have to leave a couple of the lids off because I didn't realize that the products would be too tall for the boxes, but um, only two of them have the lid off. The other four have the lid on and will be um, kept from getting debris in there. I did also decide to label my extension cords while I was borrowing that um, Cricut machine. And I started looking at it and thinking, did I spell that right? Do you ever do that when you spell something and you start second guessing yourself? But anyway, hopefully that is spelled right. But I went ahead and labeled that as well. Also note to self, um, I was at a client's house this morning, so I was dressed you know, fairly nicely and I thought I would be okay wearing these boots to do this project. Next time, these would definitely not be my shoe of choice. I probably should have changed into some more comfortable shoes, but got it done. Here, I just wanted to insert this clip to remind you of what the garage looked like before I tackled this area. And then here are the after clips. Well, that is all I have for you in today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and then it gave you some motivation to get a space in your home cleaned or organized. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate it when you watch until the end. So a special thank you to those of you who are still with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Open up your eyes. This is our time. Can't let us